But I think the player that opened my eyes the most, and again, it's the player that I probably knew the most about going into this, and that is Sam Poulin. I mean, it might mm-hmm. be an easy answer, but here's the thing. I said this last week. The best case scenario for the Pittsburgh Penguins is that Sam Poulin progresses to the point where by the end of the season, he's your third line center and he's graduated from the prospect ranks and he is the everyday third line center for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Now, this was just prospects challenge. So I'm not saying that, hey, he's ready, but I'm saying he is well on that path if he continues to look the way he did. I mean, the way he plays down low, I think, is the biggest thing for me because we always knew Sam Poulin has a good shot. We always know that he has a knack for scoring goals. We we always thought that maybe he should be doing it a little bit more at the level that he's at at this point, uh, especially since he was drafted in 2019 and now it's 2023. But I like the way that he plays. He's big body. He's a moose, as J.D. Forrest said on Thursday. And he's just a guy that's tough to play against. And that's what the Penguins need. A guy that's tough to play against, that can fill the back of the net when need be, and that is just a smart third line center type player. And I think that's what Sam Poulin is starting to look like more and more as time goes on. The question coming into this year was, how's his conditioning? Where's his progression at after taking that time off last year? And as far as we've seen so far, and it's, again, small sample size, prospects challenge. But from what we've seen so far, Poulin looks to be on a really good track to start the season. They look, the team looks to be really confident in him too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, he looks like he's back on track after taking his time off. He looks to be, he looks like he, he doesn't look like he missed a step during that time off. And the great part is that the team is confident in him. I mean, I, sure, take everything you say from these from this prospect tournament of the greatest salt. He was killing penalties though. That's the one thing I want to mention. And mm-hmm. I said that, I said this on Twitter, and I know you know exactly where I'm going with this. Not only was Sam Poulin killing penalties, which if he's the third line center on the Penguins, he's going to have to do because yes. Crosby and Malkin aren't killing penalties. Crosby has. Malkin, never. <laughs> Malkin's <laughs> usually taking penalties, not killing them. But Sam Poulin, not only is he killing a penalty, this guy is in his third prospects challenge. This guy is somebody who, for all intents and purposes, probably didn't need to play in this game if he wouldn't have taken the time off last year and they just want to see him get more more time, more ice time, more challenges. Not only is he out there killing penalties, without a stick, he is blocking shots. Without a stick, he is diving to get mm-hmm. clears, diving at Zach Benson when he had the puck to get clears. It's that type of effort that not only is like, oh, okay, I'll mark that down. That's the type of effort that you're saying, that's what we want. That's what we want in a game that in in the grand scheme of things, I know Sam Poulin is fighting to become an NHLer, and there is always stakes when that's involved, but it's a relatively low stakes game. And the Penguins are already up two to nothing in the third period of a prospects challenge. You're probably already thinking, okay, I got to get back to Pittsburgh. Got to get ready for weigh-ins. Got to get ready for testing. Got to get ready for camp. That's where, where it's really going to be rubber meets the road. He's blocking shots. He's diving around, doesn't have his stick. He's trying to make a play. And at the end of the day, he was a positive impact all weekend. And that's something that is going to stick with Kyle Dubas, who I'm sure was in attendance with Mike Sullivan, who I'm sure was in attendance with Mike Vellucci, who I'm sure was in attendance. And certainly with Mike or not Mike J a lot of Mike's, but yeah. this isn't JD Forrest, who's going to be his head coach to start the season. Yeah. It, it, they're, all those guys were there for sure. Um, and you mentioned the thinking about what's next in the next in the, you know, the off season. That's what the Sabres commentary was talking about. That's what it looked like a lot of the Sabres were in the middle of doing. Just, you know, not phoning it in, but just calling it a day, getting ready for what's next, hoping no one else gets hurt because, again, they missed out on their guy the entire game. Mm-hmm. Uh, whereas the Penguins were driving the entire game, front to back, uh, the full 60, on the puck, hard nose, all of that. And as for Poulin, I don't want to draw him directly in comparison to – uh, Daniel Sprong, but what was one thing about Daniel Sprong that never made him crack the NHL lineup or really yes. succeed in here? He didn't like that he wasn't playing at the top level on both sides of the puck. Now, Daniel Sprong has gone on to be just a great fourth line player who maybe his defense has come along, haven't paid full, that much attention, but his scoring has definitely found a touch, which is good. Mm-hmm. Um, they, but that was one thing that he couldn't break out in the Penguin system with is because Mike Sullivan and his crew didn't like that he wasn't fully set defensively. Pool and they're driving it home. It looks to be that he's getting there a lot quicker. And like I said, he's, if he's killing penalties, he has a prospect challenge, but they still have 
the prospect challenge is where you don't kill penalties at all. I would think <laughs> that's where it's just kind of, you know, throw it all against the wall, see what happens. You didn't have to put him out there to kill penalties. You could have just said he's only going to be out there for offense because that's what he can bring. No, he's now bringing defense as well. You're out there to bring the, to put out the best of your abilities in every situation. Mm-hmm. If they're throwing pull in out during penalty kills, that shows that they have confidence in his defensive ability considering he was the first line center for the second two games. I mean, everyone else on that roster wasn't get, I mean, other guys were obviously killing penalties, but that means other names weren't. Yeah. So they have that confidence in him to play all facets of the game. But again, when was the penalty? The last five minutes of the third period in that a two too. goal game. <laughs> so yeah, he was doing it all tournament, but that one specifically. Yes. Yeah. That one's spe- to deploy him. There shows you, Yes, this is a concerted effort to get Sam Poulin on the ice in a penalty kill situation because that's what the Penguins are going to need him to do once it gets to the NHL roster. But... 